This is Dabu 7. We have the commandment of the Marine Corps, General Robert Neller, making a statement here recently to the troops saying that they must be prepared in terms of a big war that is coming around the corner. And he made these statements in Norway and basically said that they're watching your every move. He said that you're in a fight here, you're in, a, in an informational fight, a political fight, just by your presence. And he pointed out that Russia and the Pacific Theater are the next major areas of conflict, predicting a big-ass fight in the future. Those are his exact words to all these troops. He says, just remember why you're, why you're here. They're watching. Uh, just like you watch them, they're watching you. But he basically says we could go from 300 Marines that we have here to 3,000 overnight and we could raise the bar. They're also saying that they're training in cold weather. Now Russia's been upset that Norway has allowed this to go down. And it shows a shift. And they're saying that basically they're eyeballing Ukraine and Georgia and other areas involving Russia here in the future, and here on this world stage, instead of directly going at China, it seems like Russia is what they've been surrounding. They've been lining up on its doorstep all this time. And of course, a lot of Russia is in a Siberian cold type of climate. So they're training the troops in a similar climate to fight that kind of style. And when you hear words coming from, you know, the general saying that there's a big ass war coming and pointing the finger toward Eastern Europe and Russia. Well, I think it says enough itself. He said it. It's coming. They've been gearing up for years. And if you missed it here recently, I talked about Europe wanting to create their own military presence or certain countries within Europe breaking away, away from NATO, like NATO is not good enough. They want their own military apparatus. Now, the timing of all this and the talk of the U.S. having waning power here on this world stage puts us in a position to where I don't want to see our troops spread thin across the globe and then have nothing here on the home front to protect us at all. But it seems that's what's been done here thus far. And they're continuing to make moves, spreading troops across many different areas around the globe, and even using mercenaries in some of these areas as well, like Venezuela, Africa, with these proxies like they've done in Ukraine. And I have a feeling that things around Crimea here, not too far off future, are going to heat up Ukraine, Crimea, Georgia, things of that nature. And in terms of Russia, Kaliningrad is key. And I really think that uh, that would have to be a main target because Russia can launch from land, sea, and air from there. And if you're going to try to attack them, that's one place you're going to have to take out first. That's some of the latest here. I'll leave a link and I'll continue to update with more information. If I hear any more. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.